Hello there. Today, Erin and I decided that we were going to paint a lion. Lion. So here are our fun lion paintings that we did. We used a purple background because it would look good with the uh, orange and the yellow. And yeah, what'd you think of this one, Erin? Pretty good. Pretty cool, huh? We hope that you have fun painting a lion just like ours. And if you like our video, please hit that like button and subscribe down below. Thanks so much for watching. Painting today, Erin and I will be using these colors. I have a yellow, an orange. This is like a golden yellow or a yellow ochre. I've got a light brown and a white and a black. Okay, so we'll be kind of pulling from those colors. All right, we'll also just be using two different brush sizes, um, a bigger one and a smaller one. It really doesn't matter what kind of brushes you use, just whatever you have around your house. All right, you ready, Erin? Yep. Okay, we're gonna start with yellow. And I'm gonna start with kind of a oval shape towards the top middle of my paper. Okay, it kinda looks like an egg sideways. You can go ahead and fill it in with the yellow paint for now. Because we're working on a purple paper, the yellow doesn't cover it very well, so we'll have to go over it again later. But we're just kind of using the paint to draw for now. Once I've got my main oval shape started, I'm going to add kind of a U that goes underneath it like that for the lion's head. Okay, this is his face, and I'm gonna go ahead and cover that in too. We're just drawing for now. Okay, got the basic shape. See if you can make yours a little bit bigger. It'll be hard to make the uh, details if it's not super big. So make your entire thing maybe a little bit bigger so that we have enough room to add all the little details that are inside of the face. All right, as Erin's doing that, I'm gonna talk about the next part. The bottom of the face is usually a little bit lighter than the top of the face, okay? So now that I've got kind of where the face is, I'm gonna start in on some gold or yellow ochre is what this color is called. And I'm gonna start adding that in to the top part of my face. And you can see that this color covers a lot better. And if we go a little bit of outside of the lines, it doesn't matter because we're gonna make the fur later and that'll cover up a lot of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop some of that paint. And it's okay if it mixes with the lighter yellow because they go well together. So I noticed that we didn't even clean our brushes. We just went right in for this darker color. And we're gonna leave this towards the top, Erin. Oh because the bottom is gonna be a little bit lighter. Okay, so that first oval that we did, if you go out of the lines, that's okay, because we're gonna cover over it later. Okay, we got a nice solid color there. And then I'm still not gonna wash my brush, I'm still gonna leave that color on, and I'm gonna dive into the white. And it's okay, I, I'm even mixing the white with a little bit of yellow. And I'm gonna do the, the bottom. Now for the bottom, I'm gonna kind of make a line like this and then kind of fill that in with the white here. And then underneath, I'm gonna add a little bump like that. So it's kind of a, a straight line across the bottom part of the face and then kind of a, a shape like this that's curved down and then a bump that kind of curves down farther like that, okay? Yep. All right, um, while I still have these colors on my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and add some ears. So I'm gonna go back into that gold color and the ears are gonna be floating. So I'm gonna go ahead and make two lines that are floating above the head like that. And then I'm gonna add little curves or for the ears. So we'll put those in like that. So far so good, Erin? Yep, pretty good. Yeah. I was looking up on the internet the other day what the most popular
popular animal in the world is? Any guesses? Lion. The lion. Yeah, it's one of the most popular animals. Why do you think it's so popular? Maybe because it's like the fur around his face. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, I'm going to mix my light brown with my orange so that I have kind of an orangish brown. We're going to start working on the mane of the lion, okay? And the first part I'm going to focus on is right by the face. I want to make a couple of pieces of hair kind of coming down over the part of the face like that. And then the same thing, it's going to kind of run into the ears a little bit too. And it's going to go all the way around the entire section that we just did. So it's a little orange and brown mixture. And I'm going to have it just kind of go all around the face that we did. This is nice if you messed up or if you went outside of the line, this is where you can kind of fix it to make sure that your face makes sense. And uh, you can correct any of those crazy marks that you made. Okay, once I've got my entire area around the face covered, now I'm going to make my brush strokes that are gonna go away from the face. And you could even do it kind of like this first just to kind of get an idea about where you're gonna put the brush strokes. So they're kind of have to go in this direction all the way around the line. It almost looks like a spider right now. It's kind of a funny thing. These ones are gonna go kind of up and out. So once I've got that kind of mapped out, now I can kind of fill in with my paint. So this is just gonna take a while. You're gonna have to go around and fill in all of area around the lion. And I added our orangish brown color all the way around our lion. We even added some a little bit, uh, little brush strokes here behind the ears uh, so that it's all nice and full. And even though it's still wet, I want to add a little bit of a highlight to it. So I'm going to take the color that we just used for the hair and I'm going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow to it to make it just a tiny bit lighter. And I'm going to just throw in a couple of marks kind of along my mane here to kind of give it a, a punch of, of light. So you can do a little bit of this or a little more. It doesn't really matter. You can skip this step altogether. But I wanted to add just a little bit of a highlight color to my mane just to kind of make it pop out a little bit more. So. I'm, I'm sticking mostly towards the middle of the mane. And then I am just kind of going and, and adding just a little bit of highlight to this colors. And, and the reason I'm doing it while my paint is still pretty wet is because um, then the colors will blend a little bit better, okay? So now we got a nice thick furry mane for our lions, okay? Ready to do some detail work, Erin? Yep. All right, we're gonna put these brushes down because we won't need them anymore. And now we're gonna switch to our smaller brushes to get into some details, okay? So the, the color I'm gonna use right away is um, kind of this light white yellowish color. And I just wanna kind of focus on the bottom part of the face here. So I wanna make sure that I've got basically a circle here, a circle here, and then a line here. So I'm kind of making sure those, those areas are nice and bright because that's where the mouth goes. And we'll add the black mouth later, but I just wanted those areas to pop out a little more. So I'm giving them another color or cover of paint, okay? So see if you can even fill those out a little bit more, make them a little bit bigger. You want a circle here, a circle there, and then all of this nice and light. That'll make your lion really pop. While I have this color on my brush, I'm also going to go up towards the top part of my lion, and I'm just gonna make two lines, one right here and one right here. They're slightly curved, and that's gonna be the bottom of where the eyes are. Okay. All right, now we're going to switch to black, and so we might want to just kind of wipe off our brushes a little bit. 
When you do this section, you want to make sure to kind of hold your brush up and down, Erin, so it's not super thick, okay? Mm -hmm. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a really wide V for the nose, okay? Right in the, between those two circles that we drew. Yep, so this is where the lion's nose goes. Good. All right, then we can make a line down and then draw in the mouth. I'm going to mix a little bit of brown with my black to fill in the top part of the nose so it's just kind of a little bit lighter than those black lines. Okay, and then while I have a little bit of brown on my brush, I'm going to just make uh, some little lines like this. They're not complete lines, they're just little marks that go from the inside of the eye down by the nose, like that. Good. All right, and then again, I'm using just the tip of my brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the lion's eyes right above those line light marks that I put in with the white mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and do the two eyes with the black, like that. Me. Cute. Uh, we'll fill them in with a lighter color later. All right, I'm also going to use the black to add some like little whiskers kind of coming out. I'm just really trying to use the tip of my brush. And then if you want to, you can even use the black to kind of add some details around the outside edges. Um, this is kind of like outlining, but I'm not going to make my line super smooth. I want it to look more like rugged fur, so I'm just going to add a little bit of a line. Here and there, it's not a complete line. You can also throw a couple of lines kind of in the main too, or even outside of the main, just to give it a little bit more um, detail. Okay, again, that's kind of an optional step. I do wanna add a little bit of black by the ears so that the ears stand out a little more. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around the outside of the ears like this with my black and the inside of the ears too, I'll add just a couple of like furry lines to make it look like there's fur right in front of the ears. Okay, and then the inside of the lion's eyes are gonna be a little bit lighter, like we might wanna go with a yellow, okay? So I'm gonna take my brush and wipe it off on my paper towel to get most of the black off and then I'm gonna dip it in some yellow paint to fill in the inside of the eyes, like that. And then I'm gonna switch back to the black to add the little dots in the middle of the eyes. is the king of the jungle. What do you think? How does he look? <laughs> not like a lion. He doesn't look like a lion? Oh man. I'm sure he does. He's Wait. so cool. You gonna add a little black around the outside edges of yours or no? no. You gonna leave it like it is? Yeah. All right. Well, there are our fierce lions. Hope you enjoy painting with us. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and like below.